So he looks without cause. Thank you. Okay. Uh, I have different answers with them. Okay. But because uh, there are there are four actors on the screen, right? Twenty-one yeah. actors. Five. Five. Four. Six. Oh, six. Oh, okay. Four actors. Oh no, no. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So the level of those actors, on top is just Kuni, and then Barbara Dani Kuni, and Ryan Reynolds, and Tom Holland. Yeah. So the current. Top to down. <laughs> fans, and fans, Audi and, and oh. Bobo, right? So, without a doubt, just Kuni can represent those three of coverage. Anything he wants. Anything okay. he wants. And then, Robert Downey Jr., maybe, maybe Audi. Okay. And Ryan Reynolds, maybe Bobo. And maybe Audi, either. Because he's kind of old, either. Tom Holland, no offense, neither. And Tiger Woods. Maybe Bobo, because I'm with Amanda, outgoing. Bobo is for outgoing uh, project. That maybe, I don't know. Okay, thank you, everybody. What do you think? Okay, so I'm going to share my opinion, okay? Uh, so, do you guys know what I was doing here? So, this kind of discussion is like most uh, common discussion we have when we do a marketing, in a t a marketing team. If we're going to release a product or some brands, we want to know what kind of people we are talking to. For example, some of you mentioned like you think like uh, uh, Audi is not that luxury, but it is kind of famous, so maybe young people would like, or some of you mentioned like Volvo is more like family uh, car. So also you mentioned like you should pick up how famous this artist is. So everyone will have different kind of aspects. So our job is to like organize this all kind of aspects and find out the best market. For example, you mentioned like high salary, high uh, older people. We already have Benz here. Benz is already already winning this position. Should we still getting this kind of target, or should we switch down a little bit? Maybe they have lower salary, or maybe they like to have more fun, like speak. Even they are old, but maybe they like to race. So should we like position our brands in the different uh, places? So this kind of discussions is what our, uh, we do when we are selling our products. So this is called like positioning. So if you want to decide a like, ambassador for your brands. It's not so easy just by, oh, maybe he is uh, the same image with the Mercedes. Because if you think George Clooney is, has the same image with Mercedes, because that was because you already saw that image, you know? So they already tell you that Mercedes is uh, represent for luxury, mature, and like rich. You already saw this. Uh, being sort of this kind of image. So you've seen that George Clooney represented. But if you want to sell Mercedes to like younger people, like for example, Generation Z, because I, I heard like a lot of uh, younger people, right, recently they are more willing to buy things than older people. They have more money from their rich family, from rich dad or something. So they are more willing to pay their money. What kind, do you want to sell Mercedes to them? Will you still use just Clooney? You might not. You might want to switch to, to like Blackpink or something. I don't know. So it's more about who you want to sell to. Okay. But every answer is a right answer. It's no wrong answer. It's all about who you want to sell, with, sell to. Okay. So this kind of discussion, if you want to go to a marketing business, this kind of discussions will like happen all the time. Asking who you want to sell to, how do you sell them? Okay. Or, okay, so let's go to next. And besides to branding, we also do like social media. I think all of you very well know of like social media, so I won't explain a lot. As you can see that in social media recently is like, uh, I know you don't use Facebook a lot, so yeah. 
Facebook, and um, Instagram, Twitter, and what else? Like D card, or also in my age it's like PTT, or <laughs> something like that. A lot of kind of different media platforms in on, on Google, Yahoo, or any any website exists on the internet. We can do like social media marketing on it. So this kind of content we have to think about and that those contents have to connect with our brands and have to uh, express what we want to express in one picture, in one pa paragraph or something. So, and it's because the social media nowadays is very fast, so you have to keep uh, doing, keep creating new creatives every day. So it's kind of a very like busy job if you want to do that. It's very difficult to do, but if you have very creative thinking, you think you write, you have good writings, I'm encouraged you because it's, it has still um, booming, I think. But without with chat GPT, I don't know, maybe it will be decreased or replaced or something, but still it has a lot of needs, like creating uh, images or writing skills. Okay, and also marketing, we have like earned media or media buy. So now, uh, those like uh, website articles you saw, like contents, most of them are written by specific brands or something they are selling you some concepts or even though even with some like those articles t telling you how to diet like you have to drink a lot of water or take more like kind of some kind of food something like that that could be some marketing from uh, government or some uh, other institution to selling like more broccoli or something so any kind of content you saw online could be some kind of media uh, that is selling their uh, ideas, their concepts to you. So even you are just viewing some like news could be selling you some ideas. So be, be aware of what you look, what you see, and what you read, okay? These kind of things are like all the media we bought to sell you something. So be aware, okay? Don't buy anything so easily online, okay? Okay, and also the fancy part, besides to like marketing, social media marketing or something, we have events. Like if we have like ambassadors or we have like new products launching, we will have this kind of launching events or for cosmetics, we because cosmetics you want to actually feel a texture with you before you buy, right? So you have this kind of events that actually show you how the texture is and also selling you the uh, brand image, the vibes. For example, Dior is like selling the perfume. So they want to sell you this image when you feel, feel this sense. It's like you were in the garden. So they create this kind of booth to sell you the image of the sense equals to the garden, the image to input in your minds. So events are actually very uh, important part as doing a marketing part. Also, as we mentioned, like uh, like public relationship is not only the customers, but also the media, the other uh, general public, stakeholders, governments, blah, 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 a lot of people. So also sometimes they have to like uh, deal with uh, some crisis because you know some CEOs they just don't know how to shut their mouths. They say whatever they want, and they might piss up piss off their maybe employees, maybe their investment, their stakeholders, stockholders, the customers. So it's very important you have a PR team inside your company when your CEO or your employee is doing something that is not accepted by public, they have to deal with the problem, uh, release some news, release to like uh, make up the, the words or make it look better. And if it didn't work, they do some like ESG, 
CSR events to try to erase the, those past bad things they have done. So this also the part of a PR job to erase those bad things to uh, express the good image of your brand, of your company, of a person, something. Okay. Also, an important part is like product placement. I think most of you watch movies, right? Movies, dramas, Netflix, something. So it's actually a lot of uh, dramas that has they are product placementing. A lot of products you may never notice at all. So I'm gonna show you some videos right now. See if you can figure out. Oh yeah, and I want you to. Tell me how many brands you have seen from this video, okay? Can you hear?